There may come a time when you want to print a hard copy of something you find on the Internet, such as a set of directions or a map. Or maybe you want to generate something that you can share with others, like a calendar of events. Maybe you even want to save a copy of a receipt after you buy something online. Whatever information you find on the Internet, you can print it just about as easily as you can print any document on your computer. In Internet Explorer, you can print the entire contents of a web page, just a selection of it, or even just the graphics from it. Many web pages include a button or hyperlink that allow you to view a printer-friendly version of the page before you print it. This is because web pages generally aren't designed to be printed. So what you see on the screen is not always what you'll get when you print the web page. For example, if a web page has a really long or a really wide table, it may get cut off when printed. Part of the table would print on one page and the rest would print on the next. Not exactly the best way to view data. In addition, web pages often include hyperlinks, graphics, and other HTML elements that don't always show up nicely on the printed page. You've found a recipe online that you want to print out so that you'll have a hard copy easily at hand. You'll see if there's a printer-friendly view that simplifies what you see on the page, and then print the recipe. We found this recipe for shepherd's pie, which we'd like to print. Remember how we said that some web pages include a special button or link that will take you to a simplified view of the page? There are two such links here on this page. The first one is called Print Page and is right above the recipe. The second link is called Print Recipe and is to the right of the ingredients list. Clicking either of these links will work, but let's use the top link. We can see that a new window is open, showing us a printable version of the web page. This is much easier to read. Notice that a print recipe button is also included on this page. Not every page you want to print is guaranteed to include a button that offers this convenience, however. So let's preview how this page will print by clicking the down arrow next to the print button on the command bar, and then selecting the print preview command. Here we see a preview of how our page will print. If we wanted to do things like adjust the page or zoom in on the page, we could use the tools found at the top of this window. We're ready to print though, so let's use the print button at the top of the window to begin printing. Clicking the print button has opened the print dialog box. If we needed to set special options such as page orientation, we could do so from here. We could also specify how many copies we want, or if we're printing multiple pages, we could specify which pages to print. We're fine with the default print settings, so let's go ahead and print by clicking the Print button in the dialog box. Now we have a hard copy of the Shepherd's Pie recipe. Remember, when you need web information to be as on the go as you are, you can print it. Keep in mind, though, if a web page is particularly long or contains a lot of complex graphics or tables, you may be better off not printing such a complicated page.